guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Heather. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, elementary and high school age. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a pen test, which is not something that I typically do. Um, in my B5 Vertical Common Planner from Sterling Inc. This is the planner that I plan to use for 2025. We will see how it goes. So I am just going to use this last page of the planner. Um, if you've not seen my video walkthrough of this planner, I will leave it linked in the description box. There are 367 blank grid pages in the back that you can use as daily pages or journaling or whatnot. So that is what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do this pen test. Now, if you've watched any of my plan with me's, you will know that I do a lot of color coding. However, the majority of the pens that I use are the dual tip markers from Erin Condren and they have actually today when I'm recording this just come out with new dual tip markers. So <laughs> I'm going to test the ones that I have, but that is not going to be a guarantee for how the new ones will perform. I got this planning dual tip markers pack as part of the rose gold gift from um, Erin Condren this year, but even these markers do not look the same as the ones that I saw this morning on the website. So I may come back and if I purchase those, I'm not sure I will. If I decide to, I will come back and share those as well. But in my normal planning, I only use a few different pens and it is mainly either these micro tip pens in various sizes or it is my Micron 03 pens. I really like the Micron 03. These are black ink. And then as far as color coding goes in my daily planner, I have these dual tip highlighters from Erin Condren. And again, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be using next year. I have them in well, the work and personal are actually opposite. I labeled them incorrectly. So I have my personal and work colors, passion projects or goal focused, uh, homeschool and then home management. So those are the main colors that I use in my planning. Um, I do have some other things that I'm going to test, these mild liners, which I use for financial planning. Um, and then also, I have some other highlighters from Erin Condren. I do have a couple of these Papermate Flare medium pens. I don't typically use these, but I will test them out. And then I also have these SEPA pens. I just have a couple of colors that I've also used for color coding um, because in my, in my normal color coding, I have, a, I have a personal color and a work color, which is green and then like a turquoise then emma jack and lucy all have colors my husband has a color and our dog is orange so we'll see how this goes this is a long introduction i have terrible handwriting guys i don't know how it's going to be um i'm just using this home planner from passionate penny pincher as like a, a way to keep the the page up here because even though this is a lay flat planner because this is the last page it's just not it's not going to lay flat and be easy for me to write on so um, I think I am going to get something to go between these two pages just in case there is bleed through uh, let's see so this is what came with the planner I've seen some people say they're called pencil boards I don't even know what that is guys <laughs> so but I'm going to use it as a barrier um, okay, so I guess what I'll do first uh, is just go through the highlighters for the different dual tip markers that I have from Erin Condren. So I'm not going to write out anything. I'm just going to draw lines. I think that's what I'm going to do. So these are, do I have the case? I'm going to put a picture up here of what package these dual tip highlighters are because they do still sell these in Erin Condren's uh, website on Erin Condren's website. So 
this paper is supposed to be really good for fountain pens, I think, because of the coating on them, I guess. I really don't know, to be honest with you. I am so used to Erin Condren paper that this is a little bit different. Uh, the feel is really nice to me. Uh, and I have actually seen a lot of people do like um, watercolor on this on this paper as well. I don't know. So these are just some various colors that I have um, that I use for these dual tip highlighters. I have no idea how much color and stuff I will be using as we are going through things this year. Um, as far as feathering, I've heard people say feathering. I don't know. When I do highlighters, I do not do the, the black pen and then highlight. I highlight and then write over it. Um, and typically it is totally fine. So I don't know. All right, let's see. There is, hold on, you know what? I don't know if you guys will be able to see anything. There is a little bit of maybe bleed through here where I held down the highlighter a little bit longer on the purple. I don't know, maybe that's just shadowing. I can't tell. Um, but for the most part, it looks, it looks totally fine. Obviously the black ink, you can see it because this is thin paper. I think that's just how it's going to be. Uh, let's try some of these other highlighters. These are last year's flower highlighter, I believe. Um, I do actually have this year's. Let me grab those. That would probably be better to test because I don't know if these ones are still available. Yeah, that that's not coming through at all. There is some shadowing, but with thin paper like this, I don't see how you would not have shadowing. These are 0.38 SR153. I think that I'm going to have to work on my writing with these little boxes. The boxes are small and actually I will most likely write within one box. I do tend to write small uh, when I need to. This is obviously not very, <laughs> not very small. Uh, okay, so this is medium tip and fine tip. And then I'll do this purpley color, medium tip. I might run out of space here if I don't write smaller, fine tip. Um, that's my micron, let's see. Micro tip. 0.45 and then let's see I do have this just ballpoint pen um maybe a darker this is a darker dual tip marker let's see this one might I know that as I'm going through this, it's probably not going to be very, very helpful for you guys because um, these are the mild liners because I'm not actually labeling these. That's probably dumb. Um, what is this? This is called fine for the mild liner. I'll just do a couple of these colors for mild liners.
but the colors themselves look really nice on this paper. It's not like a white, white paper. It's a little bit more cream. Like this is my Erin Condren planner. Okay. So it doesn't look like there is any bleed through except for up here a little bit, but that I think is just because I was holding my pen down um, or the highlighter portion down a little bit more. Maybe the micro tip a little bit, the 0.45. Um, obviously the ballpoint pen you can feel, but, uh, and, the, and the SEPA pens you can feel, Micron, a little bit just from pushing down on it but honestly I feel like the paper is great uh you are going to have shadowing I I think that that's just a normal thing but I'm not sure that's going to really bother me that much um I guess it it might if I can't read how things are but like I said I do a lot of the writing with just the black and then I do some most of the color coding that I do is within these weekly spreads and it's just to time block uh, and to highlight different tasks based on the different categories that I'm working on so I don't know if that's going to really bother me all that much it's possible but I don't think so um let me see this one is one of those gel pens from Erin Condren. I don't know if there's any ink left in this. So let me test it before. I do have some other gel pens, but I'm not sure. So these are some highlighters that I got with the Back to School collection from Erin Condren. So a lot of my testing is going to be Erin Condren writing tools because I really like them. When they started coming out with the dual tip markers, it really helped me solidify all of my color coding. Before that, I love to use these Stetler fine liner pens and I may go back to those because I feel like this type of paper and the amount of journaling that I'm hoping to do, the fine liner pens are really the best for it. I don't know if I would use a Paper Mate Flares. I know so many people love these, but for me, the feel when you're writing, it's kind of like squeaky. I don't know. <laughs> this is seriously the most professional pen test I've ever, I've ever done. Okay, so these are gel pens from Erin Condren. Um, these are available on the website and they actually write really nicely. They don't, well, I haven't had any trouble with skipping. We'll see if they skip while I'm writing today. Um, nice bright colors and they're a little bit heavier so they feel nice in my hand. Actually really like the gel pens a lot. We'll see if those fall through. And then these are fine liner pens from Erin Condren. This is an orange, obviously. <laughs> and then this is Emma's color for her fine liner pen. I also have my Bible highlighters, which I think that these would probably be really fine in this. It's almost more like a crayon, but these are what I use in my, in my Bible journaling. They feel strange, but I like them. So if you're looking for Bible highlighters, these work quite well. Mr. Pen Bible Safe Highlighters. But it's more like a crayon to me. And then let's see. I have another one of these. This is a blue fine liner. All right, let's see. How are we looking on the other side? Okay, it looks like maybe the gel pens will come through a little bit. There's obviously shadowing and the gel pens probably are the most see-through, I think, of the pens. Um, the highlighters seem to be fine. What did I do? The, 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 yeah, the gel pen down here also comes through a lot. So the ballpoint pen, the gel pen, 
um, this one, this refillable pen. Is this a gel pen? <laughs> it might not be. I will leave most of this stuff linked below if you're interested any, in any of it. But okay, so this is kind of my pen test. These are all the pens that I would most likely be using. I really like the look of the gel pen, but those definitely come through a little bit more. My highlighters, I'm not going to have any problem with those, as well as using my Micron pens on top of the highlighter. I don't think that's going to be an issue either. So overall, I'm really pleased with the paper quality. I think it's going to be a good year of planning. So this is my pen test, not the most professional thing in the world. I know that there are so many beautiful pen tests out there, but just to give you kind of an, an idea with some darker and lighter highlighters, some dual tip markers from Erin Condren, like I said, they have reformatted these and so it is possible that they will be heavier on this paper and if I end up getting some of those, I will let you know, but I actually bought this packet I think it was 10 it was it was like the old classic dual tip markers I got a couple of packs of these before they discontinued them and you may still be able to find them on Amazon I will leave them linked if I can find them on Amazon because I know that oftentimes you can get some Erin Condren stuff on Amazon but I just love the color choices that were in that 10 pack uh, and it's how I've done the majority of my color coding since they came out with those maybe in like 2017 I think is when they came out with those anyways so this is my pen test thank you guys so much for watching if you have questions please let me know in the comments I will try and list these in order of how I use them um, in the description box so that might be a little bit more helpful for you thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one thanks guys bye